Hi, this is Val with Living Divine. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I wasn't going to do a video like this, but it was placed on my heart to do. And I decided to go ahead and turn on the camera because if my testimony can help anybody, uh, then I've done what I came to do. So um, in reading the comments when I started posting videos, I was getting kind of a lot of the themes in reference to you know, she seems a little cocky. Yeah, um, so I'm going to start off by saying I am. And the reason that I am is because I've been through so much and I'm so blessed and highly favored. Um, I have to be cocky. If I don't believe in myself, who will? But there's a song that goes, I'm so glad I don't look like what I've been through. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I don't look like what I've been through. 2020 literally almost took me out. And, and I will tell you briefly that I went through a phase in 2020. And of course, everybody went through COVID, working from home and all that other stuff. But I went through a phase in 2020 where I was sick all the time. I was suffering from exhaustion. I could not figure out how to um, get better. I was working crazy hours. Um at the job and of course at that time because the world shut down i was working from home but if you're working 70 80 90 hours a week every week every night every weekend you can get just as burned out if not more so because you're not going out interacting with people you're really kind of living off the computer you're going back and forth um as far as case assignment things of that nature but you're there's no interaction there's no time out there's no time to kind of regroup and build yourself in that situation. So that was going on. And at the same time, while that was going on, I was physically breaking down, uh, mentally, emotionally breaking down. So it got to the point uh, last year where I felt like I was almost having panic attacks. I was in the office long hours. My husband would, you know, he'd come in from work. I'm in, in the computer. He'd go to sleep. I'm still at the computer. Um, so it got to the point where I was physically and emotionally breaking down. And I will tell you that I consider myself a very strong person. And one of the problems when you are strong is that you don't want anybody else to see your weaknesses. You don't want people to know that you have some vulnerabilities uh, that will cause you to break down. So when I was working all those crazy hours, when I was doing all that work and I, you know, mentally, you know, everything was going crazy and physically, uh, my health was, you know, going crazy and I gained all kinds of weight during that time. I did not want, because my mindset was, I'm too strong for this, right? I'm too strong to break down. So I would not, I didn't want people to see my vulnerabilities, not even my husband. And mind you, he's, he made sure I knew that it was safe. It was a safe place at home to be vulnerable. But I, I hadn't got there yet. It took me some time to get there, but I got there. But it took me some time to get there. So I'm working through these issues till it got to the point where I couldn't go any further. That I had to go and acknowledge that I needed um, some help with dealing with what was going on. And I'm going to tell you, that was an humbling experience for me. It was humbling because this is the first time in my life that I could tell somebody that I can't do it by myself right? Um, so I had to go through that. And in the midst of going through all that, doing some self-care uh, and making sure that I was all right, what was clear in my mind as I started processing this whole thing is you're killing yourself for what, right? For a job that, that does not care about its employees, is that what you're killing yourself for? Uh, are you staying in a place of discomfort because you're afraid to step out and find comfort. Is, is that what's going on? So I had to process all that. I had to work through all that and realize that it's not strong to pretend you're strong, right? Um, there is nothing weak in being vulnerable. And when people start trying to make you feel that way, those are the people that need to get out of your circle. And I don't care what your circle is. If people are not there to encourage you in your circle, they're the wrong people for you. So I posted a video when I talked about my husband about getting out of your box. I don't mean just with relationships. I definitely did not mean in reference to um, 
uh, a person's color or it's not, you know, there's no hate here. It was not uh, one color against another. It was getting out of what you believe you should be in or what people are telling you should be in in reference to your box. It is uh, a job that I knew was killing me that I was staying in, right? It is, um, I should have stepped out. It was um, a situation where I was meeting people but would not go beyond what I thought I should go beyond. So I wouldn't have had a chance to meet my husband. It was um, knowing that I'm better than this, but staying there because I'm thinking that's where I'm supposed to stay. So with all that and all that happened in 2020 and me uh, actually seeing a doctor in reference to this, I finally got that I am enough by myself. So if you guys hear me talk about my past and past relationships, and mind you, I'll never bring up a name because I don't want to throw anybody under the bus in reference to that. But part of the conversation is my experience as well, not just this other person's experience. So I, if, if, you, if I can share something that can make you understand that you're not the only one that goes through this right? You're not the only one this has happened to, and yet you can go through it. You can be strong and you can come out on the other side of this and laugh and count it all joy. Uh, for me, just the, my past experiences has gotten me to where I am. So part of, um, to me, when I talk about my past, um, Quickly, just as an analogy, I like to lift weights. I, I, I love muscle. But when, when you build muscle, what actually happens is you start ripping, you start ripping your uh, muscles when you're lifting, right? And uh, the muscles grow when you're at rest. So you make tears and the muscle grows. I kind of call it, if you kind of a, a, a think about it mentally, it's like a scab. So you're going to keep scabbing over that and the muscle gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger, right? In reference to life, I talk about my issues uh, or my past issues or my past situations because they have gotten me to where I am now. You know, I, they broke me down, but I came back stronger, right? 2020 almost took me out, but I came back stronger. That is the reason at this point in my life, I will not let anybody block my blessings or steal my joy. So uh, yeah, I can laugh about almost anything. There's very few things I can not find some kind of joy in. And even if the joy is, yes, that was a hard lesson, but this is what I got out of it. Maybe never to do it again, or, or maybe do it in a different way. But I do it with a smile. So when people put comments that are negative, the reason I don't entertain them is not because I can't. Uh, it is literally because it's, I'm not letting people interfere with my joy or, or block my blessing. You know, if you feel the need to, to be negative to anybody, and I'm telling you, you can use this lesson throughout life. If somebody's being negative to you, maybe that's not the person that needs to be in your inner circle, right? So the reason I block people rather than respond is they're not the people that need to be in my inner circle. I'm not saying I'm perfect because I absolutely am not right? And, and nobody is. But what I am saying is life is too short to go around and say, let me put this person down. Because I think the person that's doing that ultimately have issues of their own. And just like I had to come to my own journey and, and, and my own path to understanding it, they will have to as well. So I don't see the need to have like the banter back and forth because some people want to pull you down because misery does love company. I've been through too much. You know, I, I, I just, I protect my peace at all costs. So I said that to say when, when you think about boxes and, and, or when I think about boxes and I think about the fact that, uh, people get stuck, people get stuck in all kinds of boxes. You guys, uh, people get stuck in relationship boxes and, or they get stuck with their job. I'm afraid to leave this job because I don't know it has insurance or, you know, or whatever it has. I was at a job for years because I was raising my daughter and I wanted to make sure that she had insurance and I had a steady income. All the while, I could have been doing something else, right? And, and it's the fear of what if. Right. But at this point in my life, I really hate that I did not do something different. But also 
all of that, all of that history, all of that past brought me to where I am now, to the place where I'm living out loud, to the place where it's okay for me to talk about my past issues and understand that it's going to help somebody. You know, you can't have a testimony unless you've had a test. And I have definitely been tested. I've been trial through fire and I've come out on the other side. So if I laugh and if I joke, it's count it all joy. You know, I have been blessed and highly favored. So I cannot pretend that I have not been. But at the same time, I honestly, it's on my heart to help as many people as I can. So you don't feel like you're in this journey by yourself. And that's as many people as I can with whatever, whether it's my, I don't know, my lock journey, my uh, health and fitness journey. I love food, right? So if, whether it's that, it's understanding that we all fall down. It's how you get back up that counts. And are you going to get back up with a lesson learned? So I'd like to think that every time I've ever fallen, I've gotten back up and knew more and I was wiser. So the next time, maybe I won't fall so low. It doesn't mean I'm not going to fall. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get back up real quick and dust myself off. So what's going on right now for me in my life is that I'm doing things that I have not done before. Hence, uh, putting all my stuff out there <laughs> for the world to see. Uh, starting a business uh, with my husband and um, just being able to live out loud. But I also want to help other people with their journeys. Whatever their journey is, find what makes you happy happy. I mean, COVID took out a whole lot of people last year. And and tomorrow is not promised. So my question is, why are you stuck where you are? Is it out of fear? You know, if, if you're where you want to be because you're happy, great. Um, but if you're afraid, and I understand because when you have children and your marriage and, and all that other stuff, that it's easy to stay in a place but maybe make a plan, right? Um, make, how, whatever you want to do, go back to school, be a beautician, I don't know, be a lawyer, be a doctor, whatever it is you want to do, make a plan that you can do it. If it's relationships, you just because I met my husband on online dating, I'm not uh, advocating that. I'm advocating stepping out of your box. If, if that's stepping out of your box, great. If you're stepping out of the box, might be meeting somebody at the grocery store, do it. You know, whatever it is you want to do. But I'm saying that staying complacent will not make you happy if you're not happy already, right? Um, if the only thing you did was stay at home, but you're waiting on Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, she just, in most cases, not going to knock at your door. You might need to get outside a little bit. Right. So I, what I want to do with this channel is to be able to encourage people. Uh, like I said, it'll be nothing but positive because trust that when I see a negative comment, I just delete and block. I don't have time for it. But I do want to constantly encourage um, you guys to keep moving. Uh, if you see me smile, understand that I've had a whole lot of tears before I came to this place. Um, and, and it's not negotiable for me. It is not negotiable. My peace is not negotiable. But I wanted to take time to say that because when I when I see things in reference to, okay, she's cocky, you know, I have to kind of smile and laugh and say, I probably am. But you don't know my story. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. That Again, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing to this channel. I have a whole lot of ideas and references to some really great content, but I wanted to jump on here real quick just because this was on my spirit. And I felt like, especially on this Sunday, that somebody needed to hear that they are enough. You know, that, that, that don't let the negativity bring you down. You are enough. I don't care if you've gained 50 pounds. You take it one pound at a time. You, you know, whatever has happened, just make progress, right? Don't stand still. What you're standing still for? Get somewhere. Take, you know, make progress. Don't let anybody bring you down. And if they bring you down, maybe they're not the people that need to be in your close circle. Sometimes you have to just protect your peace. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say. You guys have a wonderful Sunday and I will be back soon. And again, thank you guys so much for subscribing.